Are you tired of being skinny? Tired of feeling ashamed when you take your shirt off? Well, for many years, I was too. I was called names like Mr. Bones, Spaghetti Man, or Stickman. No matter how much I ate or exercised, nothing seemed to work for me. But things changed, and today, I'm very happy with my body. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I finally managed to stop being skinny, and I'll show you how you can do that too. We'll cover everything, all the way from my struggling story to some advice that I learned throughout the way. I'll even give you some expert advice from some professional CrossFit athletes. I even asked them to put me to the test. Felix didn't know it, but he would regret challenging those CrossFit athletes. Anyways, before we start with my story and all the advice that I have to give, remember, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a coach, I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is just experience and my story, and maybe this can help you. Nine years ago, that's when I started. I must have been 15 or 16 the first time I tried to exercise. I was so sick of being the skinny guy at school. So one day I stumbled into this app of seven minute workout that apparently if you do it every single day, you'll get buff. I can remember perfectly that I felt the shame of starting to work out. So what I did is I woke up 30 minutes before my dad would wake me up to go to school. I would go into my bathroom and do this seven minute workout in total silence before my family would wake up. It was brutal. The combination between cardio that made me feel sick, the lack of strength that didn't allow me to do the exercises properly, it was the start. Just seven minutes every day. But soon enough, these seven minutes became very repetitive, so I asked one of my friends that already worked out if he could build a routine for me. So after class, he gave me a paper of a routine with drawings that I would have to follow three days a week. At this point, it was only with my body weight and it was very hard to do, but I could stick to three times a week. At this point, I weighed around 60 to 65 kilos. Even if this was only the start, I've already learned some valuable lessons. First, start small. You don't need a gym. You don't even need to go hard. You just need consistency. Even a seven minute workout can do a big difference if it gets you started. Get a routine. At the beginning, you know zero exercises. So having some drawings that clearly explain what you have to do and that are not too complicated to follow, it really helps. Make it simple, but stick to it. Okay, another advice that is really important is your mindset. For me and probably for you, movies help a lot. It's this magic sauce that pushes you to be a better person. When you see Rocky climb those stairs, you're like, damn, if he can do it, maybe I can do it too. So here's a list of movies that motivated me throughout my career and maybe it will give you the push that you need to start. Get. Of course, the Rocky movies, we all know them, they're great. The Creed movies are great because it's like Rocky, but he's even sexier, so you're more jealous and you want to be like him. Look at those big titties. Southpaw, amazing. Never back down, it's a classic. It makes you want to get in shape, punch the bully at school, and get the girl that you've always dreamed of. The Last Dance, it's a documentary about the career of Michael Jordan. You know who Michael Jordan is. It will move your ass. Warrior, great movie. Coach Carter, of course. The docus about Arnold, he's good. He's really good. I'll, I'll get to the job of that. That was a very bad impression. And last but not least, Baki, Baki Handman. It's an anime, I know, he's not real, but damn, they're so strong and I wanna be as strong as them even if they don't exist. Okay, at this point I was between 17 and 18. This was the point where I got into calisthenics. If you don't know what calisthenics is, essentially it's when you go to the park, you try to do a pull up and you realize you can only do two, but you're still happy about it because it's very hard to do pull-ups. <laughs> to be honest, I would have loved to go to the gym. It would have been so much easier, but my parents didn't believe that it was healthy for me and also they didn't want to pay. So the solution was to go to the park. I remember sometimes I would go with friends and we would get motivated with the Bar Brothers. Some guys on YouTube that had some incredible calisthenic skills. I could still at this point not do much. Calisthenics are very hard to do, but going with friends made everything much more fun. Plus they could teach me what they already knew, which would make my workouts way better. But to be honest, I stopped working out many times. I couldn't see much progress in my body, I was still skinny, and it was very hard to do. All of a sudden, I would get distracted with something or get sick for a week or stuff like that, and I would stop working out for a month or two or something, three. And then getting back to working out was like starting from zero. Okay, that's the second part. It's time for more advices from that story. Advice number one, get some workout bodies. Having a community that you can rely on to push you forward, it helps a lot. Advice number two, don't pretend like you know everything. Shh. Learn proper technique. No matter how long you've been working out, there's always more you can learn. And proper technique is essential to not get hurt. You want to live a healthy life and be able to lift a lot? 
you need to do it properly. Now we enter the third phase of my career. When I finally got to the gym, I was 19. I was finally making a bit of money so I could pay a gym membership. Getting to the gym made everything so much easier. You could target a muscle very precisely and you also didn't have to leave your entire body weight every time. I was learning a lot, but the problem was still my consistency. I would go very hard for the season, then get sick and not go for three months. I would get super motivated, go super early, and then I would get tired and not go for five months. To be honest, I was losing all my gains, but I wasn't losing the things that I learned throughout the way. Finally, around my 20s, COVID arrived. At this point, I was mostly playing video games. I wasn't working out. And I started to realize, wait a second, what is this? I have a, I have a little jelly belly here. Oh my God, I've never had a jelly belly. For the first time in my life, I was getting a bit fat. But this was actually good for me because when I got back into working out, I noticed that my muscles got bigger. Okay, we have more advices. Yay, yay, make it, make it rain. First advice, adapt and overcome. You will fail countless times. You will lose your gains so many freaking times. But as long as you keep on getting back up, you'll be fine. The important thing is that you won't lose the knowledge that you learned. You will still have proper form, which is crucial, as we said. The second advice is to follow YouTubers to learn and to get motivated. I'll give you three main recommendations. The first one is Jeff Nipar. I follow his routines, I hope follow his videos, I learn so much. His channel is science-based, so every time I try to learn the best form to get the best gains, he's the man. Then, Daddy Noel, he's just a great guy, he's funny, he gives good advices, he's great. Noel is the gym dad that we always dreamed of having, but we didn't really have. And of course, Sam Sulik. If you don't have a gym buddy, he got you. He will post a video every single day sharing his workout and he will motivate you, give you advice, it's great. Now heading to the last part of my story that provide me the most gains. In the last two years, so more or less when I was 22, I slowly got into powerlifting. Not in any professional way, just to change the type of routine that I was doing. And to be honest, this totally skyrocketed my gains, my weight, and my power. Power, baby! So cool. If you're a skinny guy like me, you probably were skipping leg day a bunch. The powerlifting teaches me how important it was to hit the legs properly. Legs are the biggest muscles we have. And every muscle has a different quantity of magic juice that when you work it out, it makes your muscles grow. How is it called? Growth hormones. So I learned that if you hit properly your legs, there will be more gain juice going to your upper body. So essentially you will become bigger upwards while hitting downwards. That made sense. <laughs> and that gets us to today, where I made my ideal weight of 80 kilos. Yay, clap it up. I lift more than ever and I feel sexier than ever. And no, I'm not extremely muscular. I'm not buffed, but I look good. I'm happy with my body. To be honest, as long as I'm sexy for myself and for my partner, I don't really care. I could be bigger, but does it really matter? Bigger? and better and stronger than ever before. I also just want to be healthy. I want to be able to use my body to do the things that I want to do in my life for as long as possible. That's why I work out. So yeah, after nearly nine years of working out, I realized that you can always strive for more, but there's a point where you just have to accept that you made it. You're not skinny anymore. You're happy with your body and this is great. You did it, buddy. Yay! Okay, so what did we learn? Advice number one, train your legs. You wanna get big? Big legs. And advice number two, define your why. Why do you want to stop being skinny? Why do you want to work out? You don't have to figure it out from the beginning, but sooner or later you have to understand what is pushing you to not stop. Do you want to get the girls? Or do you want to be happy when you take your shirt off? Or do you want to be healthy? You want to feel less stressed in your life? It can be any reason. You have to figure that out. It will be your why that will push you to not stop. Okay, now it's time for some additional segments. So as you probably figured out, I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I managed to get an interview with some professionals that can give you some really good science-based advice. Cool, I'm Joseph. I'm a CrossFit media person in the space. I'm also an athlete manager. I work with multiple CrossFit Games athletes and I'm an amateur CrossFitter here at CrossFit Bienstantinam. My one best advice would be go do the classes. Everywhere you'll go, the coaches will be qualified enough to help you progress and then take it day by day. You know, you're not gonna be doing muscle ups, heavy cleans, etc. in a week, two weeks, three weeks. But if you're consistent enough and you listen to the coaches, listen to their advices, over time by being consistent, you'll be able to progress and get to a good level. Let's take a little break. I wanna give a special thanks to CrossFit Vince 21 for letting me film in their gym. I know that starting to work out will be very hard for you. That's why I asked the coaches to put me to the test. 
They would give me a routine, a time limit, and I would have to finish it. it go up. hard, but don't go too hard. Thank Otherwise, you. we might be here for a long time. It would be a lot of cardio that I never do, so it would be very hard for me to do. Good luck. Don't stop. Who do you feel when they make you the monster? I am not scared of none of you imposters. Taking the lead now while they watching. Think you should leave now while the options. Taking the wells, yeah, I gotta win. Watch me kick down the doors, they won't let me in. <laughs> Dude, I vomited everything from yesterday. <laughs> not pleasant at all. <laughs> Now it's time to get into foods and supplements. As you may know, working out is not enough. You have to eat properly. For probably the first six years, I didn't took any supplements. Learn to get all your nutritional needs only with normal food. Eat some animals, get some rice and pasta to get fatter. Eat some vegetables to get some energy. I'm not an expert, but just eat a bunch and try to make it healthy. Also, learn to do some shakes. They're very easy, there's a ton of tutorials and they're very tasty. Then if you want, you can get some supplements. The main ones are whey protein to get bigger and rebuild your muscles and creatine to store more water into your muscles and also get stronger so you can lift more. My name is uh, Nabil Tufik. I'm 30 years old. Since uh, two or three years, I do only CrossFit. I try to eat less sugar as possible. I try to give me one day a week when I go out and uh, I eat what I, what, whatever I want. Because sugar is more, uh, is more addictive than cocaine. Really? For sure. The, there is a... Prouvé scientifiquement. Prouvé scientifiquement. That's it. For the rest, make your own research. Okay, to conclude this story, I'm gonna give you two more final advices. The key, like in everything in life, is patience. You physically can change your entire body in three months. David Goggin did it. But you're probably not gonna do that. You're most likely gonna take years. So patience will be your friend. For me, it doesn't matter if you hit the gym very chilly or very hard. It matters if you keep on going and never stop. Because one day, after years and years of working out, you will take out your shirt and realize, wait! I'm one of the sexy boys! Ah! Yeah, that happened to me. It's very exciting. And the second advice is you should stretch. I know, boring advice, hate to do it every single time, but you have to do it. It is very important for your health. You want to live a healthy long life? Stretch. It is nearly more important than to work out. Okay, that's it. Good luck with your workout endeavors. You got this. If you have any questions, just put it on the comment and I will try my best to help you with whatever I can. And if you like this video, maybe you will enjoy this one where I finally managed to get my dream of going to Tomorrowland and filming there. It's really good.